Go. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Okay. Gearbox Union here. Ethan, Matt, we're here. Mm -hmm. Steel City Con is over there. Mike, here. <laughs> gonna be in there. Well, uh, line's moving we're this way. This over here. Bit of a line. We're gonna go in there. We're gonna talk to people. We got Katie here. Katie and Brandy. And Brandy. And Lee behind the camera, as always. <laughs> we're gonna, what do you wanna see in there? Uh, I'm actually hoping to see some really good cosplay. There will be some good cosplay. Today's the costume contest. So, yeah. try and talk to some people yeah. in costumes. Wait, that condo. <laughs> that condo. Where are we at right now? Still city con. Still city con. We're gonna we're gonna go in that building there. See the wall? We're gonna yeah, go in there. The building. There's a bunch of nerd stuff back there that we're gonna go see all of oh, it. Yeah, I love it. We're gonna see I'm all a, the nerd stuff. Touch all of it. All over me. We're gonna talk to all of them. Who's guys? Yeah. Hi -oh. excited. We're inside now. <laughs> Huh? Oh, she's on her things! Say hi. Be like, oh my god. There's stuff. Oh my god! Oh my god! Let's go touch stuff! Yes! Hey, Matt here. I'm here with Greg from. What's the name of your Florida? Just called. Okay, that works. He's from Florida. He has a lot of awesome art here, which we're probably gonna buy in a second. Uh, so, uh, you wanna tell me a little bit about your art, if you could? Yes, uh, I'm, I'm a uh, cover artist from Oregon. See, I also do a lot of video game work. I'm currently working on Disney's War of Heroes, Amazing. which is a, a highly addictive video game. You play it on your iPhone or Android. Oh. And, um, is it out now? I, it's out now. And uh, I've been telling people Digital it is, uh, crack. it's akin to Candy Crush from it. Oh my. Oh no, my social life is gone now. Exactly. That's hey, I'm here uh, with Ren, uh, uh, newfound best friend. <laughs> I'm just gonna step back like <laughs> you are the best robot ever. Get some of these Ninja Turtle stuff. We're checking out Rock. Uh, this is what caught my eye first was the, the Bebop and the Rock Steady. Because it's fantastic. No one ever does the And it's so serious and awesome looking. And then you go over here and he's got these cute little <laughs> I like it so much. Yeah. He's got the best of both worlds. So, uh, Ren, tell me a little bit about your art, if you can. Um, it's, it's my art. There you go. It's all I, I draw, yeah. yeah. Yeah? That's awesome. Tell me a little bit about yourself. You seem like an interesting dude. I am, I am an, an artist. Yeah, that's uh, me like draw. That makes it sound <laughs> fancy and that makes it sound simple. <laughs> That's about it. I, 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 I've oh, been doing this for a while. I went to CCAD uh, in Columbus, Ohio, which is where I live. Cool. Nice. I'm from Virginia. Hello. Hello, I'm here with Drew, Drew Blank. And uh, we were just checking out his art and giggling like little schoolgirls because it makes us happy. And uh, you want to get some shots? Well, yeah. Oh, it's okay. Of the art. And this while we get in everybody's way. The ABCs of everything. Everything fantastic that we love. Drew, can you tell me a little bit about your art, your inspiration? What do you like to draw and why? Uh, everything. Okay. There you go. I leave very few pop culture stones unturned. Uh, if I didn't have a huge selection, I'd probably have to have a real job. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm... I, I, I hey, nobody sure. wants I that. hate real jobs. Oh, awful. Oh, I've done that for plenty of years. I don't need to do it again. Right. No, I just make sure to put, I have something to tickle everyone's fancy. Right. I love nothing more than people just walking by my table and cracking up. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> my fancy has no. been horribly tickled beyond repair. Yeah. There's not much here that doesn't Hopefully make me. we can clean that up a little later. <laughs> Good to go? Yep. Here we are at Still City Con <laughs> with Andrew J. Harmon, who is actually at Sci-Fi Valley Con last year. How have you been doing? In the past year. I've been doing very well, thank you very much. We're glad to hear it. Thank you. <laughs> any, any, any new cool, exciting things going on with you this year? Uh, well, for this year, I've actually got, uh, let's see, 12 new prints lettering a book uh, for Dr. Boyle from uh, Mark Stegbauer, uh, as well as doing some, uh, some more prints for Sterling Clark and uh, a bunch of other artists. Nice. Interesting. Keeping busy. Trying to. Trying to. Hi there, I'm here with new best friend Brian Chen. Yeah! He's from Altula like us, and we didn't even know. That's right. Yeah. What is wrong so, with us? Uh, Brian, can you tell me a little bit about your art that you got going on here? All right, well, uh, these black and white ones, uh, I just did at the show here. Oh, um, you did here? I did them here. Yeah, impressive. I like that robot. Yeah, thanks. He's these my friend. These are prints that I've done up, and I have a webcomic at uh, colesmithcomics.com. You should totally check it out. We will. We will. How do you, uh, what's your motivation? How do you decide what you want to draw? Um, I don't really have one. It's, it's too, it's whatever you feel like, you just put your pen paper time. and go at it. Yeah. Awesome. And you said you're going to be at Sci-Fi Valley Con this year. I am right? going to be at Sci-Fi yeah. We will also be there. Awesome. And I'm looking forward to it. Hello, I'm here with Katie. And hello. I'm Sci-Fi. Hi, Sci-Fi. You're just trying to 
tried to make a corset sale that's probably going to be successful on me. Yeah. So uh, I'll just stand here and look uh, less pretty than you two. And you guys talk about Matt will, Matt will stand corsets. there and attempt to not look down. Right, you guys just talk about corsets. <laughs> so you have a shop? Yes, we do. Uh, we're Black Hearts Clothing. The shop's Black Hearts Boutique. Uh, we also have a performance troupe that uses uh, industrial angle grinders to shoot sparks off their body. What? Choreographed two different parts of the music. Like, we'll have girls that do bass or synth or guitar. What? This sounds heard. amazing. Yes. Okay, I've heard of this. Sounds slightly dangerous. Um, it's actually extremely dangerous for the performance artist, even more so than uh, fire because they do those strips here in the middle. And if that cat, if that goes wrong, that's an artery. Now, now luckily, we have never had anybody mess up. Woo-hoo! We also no have up. very good protective so, Hey, I'm here with Mike. Bad with names. So me and Lee instantly got distracted by uh, what you guys have going on here. And it's amazing. It's like the perfect thing you need for a man cave, basically. Absolutely. It makes uh, great wall art. All this stuff is original. Oh, it is. They're all out of, uh, out of video games. Oh, my yeah, God. I used to play the yeah. crap out of this game, like nonstop. The X-Men. Yeah, oh, my God. Never beat too. it either. It was impossible, but so much fun. Uh, so a lot of, like, vintage kind of game art going on here. But then you also got stuff on Arkham Asylum and the new Star Wars games. Oh, like, oh, Batman. We have some of the new titles. And, uh, all these light-up boxes are reasonably priced, 135 Com. Hey, I'm here with Chris. Uh, he was just putting stuff in my nose, and I liked it. Uh, so uh, tell us a little bit about what you got going on here. Well, we're deeply dapper, uh, better living through tentacles. Uh, we create soap, switch plates, stickers, sketchbooks, pretty much anything that starts with an S for the most part. Soap, stickers, sketchbooks. Switch plates. Switch plates. Oh, my gosh. Our switch plates are made with uh, heat-reactive paint, so they're nice and shiny and durable. Everything we do is by hand. We do all the artwork. We create the scents ourselves. We kind of try to go retro on some of them, like mustache here. Mustache. I smell that. It smells good. <laughs> uh, we, we really try to evoke memories to ourselves, but still kind of celebrate geekdom. Sure. We love geekdom. Yeah. Hi, I'm Matt. That's Ethan. We're here with Ryan Gingold, Steel City Movers. There you go. So you have a moving company. Yes, sir. But you're also awesome. Thank you. Because you have this guy at your booth. Dr. Wastro. Dr. Wastro. Dr. Wastro. Who's who's featured in your commercial, right? Yeah, he is our, we call him our (laughs) anti-mascot. Anti-mascot. Dr. Wastro is a supervillain who aims to waste your valuable time and money. Steel City Movers, of course, aims to save your time and money. That makes sense. So we're we're actually debuting him at Steel City Con. Nice. That's awesome. And then if we can pay it over there, you have action figures of all your employees. Employees, we do. Movers. Yes. Handmade by by you. myself. I made these guys. Yes. So there you are. Up I'm here. right up top. Yep. Brian Gingle. There I am. Oh, so fantastic. And uh, center guy Mike. He actually plays Dr. Wastro in our commercial. Oh, that's fun. Hello. I'm here with the Brotherhood of the Mandalorians. We got three uh, Fets here, not Boba Fets, but Fets nonetheless. Uh, can you run through the names and your uh, kind of jobs? My right? name's East Fet, uh, Ace Fet, Fleet Admiral, uh, First in Command. The Black Yef Shuby Fett, second in command, arms and armor division, fair Fett in the purple, logistics and ambassador. And in case you couldn't tell, these guys are into cosplay. Yeah. They like the cosplay. We're fans of the cosplay. I, I was going to say, I like how the dip, em, dip, ah, dip, em, I cannot talk today. The one that makes the nice with the people is the shooty one. <laughs> that makes sense. To me. Oh. Where can we find you online? Yeah, but, uh, um, I'm on Facebook, uh, Greg Horn Art. It is a, uh, it's a fan page. Right? I also have a website, GregHornArt.com. All right. But the Facebook's a lot more fun because I'm able to go back and forth. That's what we're fans of. We like the Facebook. All right. Awesome. Thank you, Dr. Uh, what, what's your uh, favorite part about this convention so far? This has probably been, uh, for the Steel City Con this year, it's probably been the biggest uh, that it's ever been. A lot of people. Absolutely a lot of people. A lot of uh, fantastic uh, costumes as well. Uh, so uh, it's just been uh, nice seeing people walking past, uh, picking up a lot of good stuff, a lot of great stuff. We got a lot of good art. Yeah, there. there's a lot of stuff taking my money. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you go. What's your favorite thing to draw? Uh, probably Harley Quinn. Hmm. That's easy. That's probably the easy job. That's probably the cop out. That's probably the cop out. But that's, yeah, absolutely. What, what I like to try to do uh, whenever people ask me for commissions and things like that, I like to try to tell like a little bit of a story in the panel. I had a guy uh, yesterday, he wanted 
Gargano. And he had made the comment that Gargano t- tends to be kind of grim. So I made him crossing his arms with uh, kind of pouting, saying, I'm not grim, I'm just grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Nice. What's your favorite thing to draw? My favorite thing to draw is uh, ladies. Yeah. I love the I love the ladies too. Are you ladies doing I try to draw them, but it's more like a stick figure with two circles. We'll go see our best model. I got really distracted by that. Oh, nice. Why, why am I making this? <laughs> I was I was looking at the thing. I was like, now I'm making the face. I was like, I was just admiring your face. All right. I have a blast doing what I do. I mean, I get to tour around the country. I get to meet cool people and make stuff that just you know, I mean. It, it, it you know tickles that nostalgia bone, you know, and, you know but also you know, keeping things current too. Sure. And I mean, it, you, you'd be very hard pressed to find at least twenty things in that book that you weren't into. Right? Right. If you can't find anything in that book that you don't like, you're in the wrong place. Can you help Matt with math? Oh, I do need. Matt? Yeah. He's not good at math. You what kind of math? Just, I can't do like crazy math. No, I'm just like, fingers and toes. And just, stuff? Whenever someone like asks me a question that involves math, I'll just call you. <laughs> and then you can just tell me what to do from there. Wait, wait, wait. I have a math guy. Yeah. Somebody's going to be at a checkout counter, and they're just going to be like, uh, 30 cents and change. I'll be like, I got a Brian once. Yeah, yeah. I just, my, my number's on my card. My buddy. Oh, card. Yeah. Check out his card. It's there. It's right there. Hey, Brian's going to help me with math, yes. guys. Oh! oh. Pizza, what do you need help with? We can call, we call our new best friend. I'm on call hand. Yeah, I need, like, basic geometry. There like, you go. Not yeah. even, like, the numbers. I just need to know what the shapes are called. All right, yeah. <laughs> How do we get Katie on stage in a metal thing and grind it? <laughs> <laughs> well, we're actually always hiring for uh, new models, and our models we train uh, into the performance troupe because it's all interlinked. Are there any requirements, Ethan? Um, I hand coordination, the ability to STFU, and do what you're told because yeah, grinders. I, I can come and be a uh, medical personnel if something does go wrong. Do, do you guys get involved with this? Can I, can I grind myself? Guys, actually. Uh, we have two actually uh, RNs and one certified EMT worker there we in our go. crew that works. Uh, they do the grinding and they're on Good. Here. That makes me feel better. Where, where can people find you again? Um, well, we do Club Arkham in Pittsburgh, which is whenever we feel like throwing an event because it's Arkham and it's an insane asylum or an HP Lovecraft town. So we do what we want, when we want. Online, there's uh, Facebook.com, Blackhearts Clothing, uh, slash, or Blackhearts Boutique. The website is blackheartsclothing.com. And our next big, big show is in Louisville in September. We are the only supporting act for Infected Mushroom at DerbyCon. Nice. DerbyCon. That is our Hackers. Oh, cool. And you're on Facebook also, you were telling us. We are on Facebook under Packers. And so you said that when you have new stuff, you'll post it on Facebook. About how often do you get a new uh, design that you guys release? Well, we're always we're always looking. Everything is, is original. There's no there's no written, there's no artwork. This is all original from games. Very so we're always trying to look for dealers to buy out. So I'd say you know every, yeah, that, uh, every couple of weeks we're, we're posting something. Oh wow! I think I think I did not realize that until you said it that these are actually out of the cases and everything. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I think that makes them so much cooler and more money I'm going to spend. <laughs> Is this like like a sign-on thing? Like you sign your papers to be part of the company. You're like, here's your yeah. introductory action figure. We, we actually just this year added it to the employment contract that you have to be cool with us, perhaps <laughs> making an action figure of you, and perhaps displaying it at the office. That is awesome. I'm half tempted to like come help you move stuff for like three months. Just right on, so just to get the figure. Yeah. The newly formed group, uh, uh, Shoebe Feds, we make an armor for about 15 years. Most of the other, uh, uh, you know, Plans that are out there actually, you know, most of them got their arms. Oh, cool. Um, you know, he's as you can see, he does everything by hand. It's all handcrafted, all, all hand carved, hand sanded, everything. Very impressive. Um, he does all the decals. Um, it's it's a new group, but it's not going to be a small group for long. Okay. I mean, we came out to uh, to Pennsylvania to kind of sign people up. Very nice. I think we got like 20 members in the first weekend. Oh wow. So it's uh, it's going to grow to be something different because we're the only clan that allows children under the age of 18 to uh, join. He's the only company that makes kids armor, um, and we have no stipulations on what your costume should look like. Awesome. You, can, you can do mashups of, you know, DC, Marvel, anime, whatever you want to do, and put it together with Star Wars, and we're cool with that. We heard I would that. love we that. We can have a lot of fun with that. We can have a lot of fun with that. Oh man, imagine uh, a Deadpool fat. Oh, dude. You can do that. So, what's your uh, 
my favorite kind of costume to build. Do you like Star Wars the most? Or? Oh, yeah. I like Star Trek. I like Star Wars. There you go. Uh, I'm from Altoona. Oh, so. oh, oh so there, there, you there you go. There you go. So, Best friend. It's actually, it's actually really nice. I mean, when Sci-Fi started out, uh, their first show wasn't in Altoona, but the, the second one that they had was. Right. That was a really nice thing to do. So the fact that they're going to be in Altoona again uh, this coming, uh, what is it, June? June 27th. 27th, my birthday, actually. No! So. Happy <laughs> early birthday! Thank you. So Thank you much booze and cake. Exactly. There you go. There we'll, you go. So, we'll remember to shout your birthday. We'll come over and sing it to you. We're going to come there. sing it to your booth. That'd be great. Okay, well, thank you very much for joining us. Right, thank you very yeah, much, guys. Nice okay. It's a panic shot, so it's pretty work. Um, what other cons are you going to do? Oh, yeah, what do you got coming up? And where can people find you online? That's another one. Oh, yeah. Um, you can uh, Facebook me, Ren McKenzie, uh, R-E-N-M-C-K-I-N-Z-I-E, or you're going to find me. Uh, Deep in Art Darkness, 33. Uh, even art, and uh, that's about it. Upcoming uh, events, upcoming yeah, shows. I I don't remember. Not on the schedule. Yeah, I, I've got some, but I don't. Remember. Are you? I, don't I will we'll ask I need her. A handler. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's she's, she's good. <laughs> yeah, I, I need somebody to keep, keep my dates. Like that's what, yeah, that's well, what I did. That yeah. face, you're gonna be good. That's what I did. <laughs> Where can people find you online? Uh, Heroesquares.com. Heroesquares, that's a cool name. I've got about 20 more, 25 more shows this year. Nice. Wow. So Busy I'll be man. in D.C. next week, and then uh, Minneapolis, Dallas. So yeah, I tour all over the country. Fantastic. Do you guys have any other upcoming events? Where can you be found online? Oh, well, you can find us at cosplayonabudget.vpweb.com or Good shoot name. these galactic props. Um, you can also find us at Twitter at Budget Cosplay. Um, you know, we got the Etsy accounts, we got uh, you know the Facebook Brotherhood of Mandalorians, um, and we do a lot of cons. I mean, you'll see us uh, Philadelphia Wizard Con, uh, Wizard World Philadelphia, New York Comic Con, uh, Rhode Island Comic Con, Super Mega Fest. We, we go all over. Awesome. Super Mega Fest? Yeah. I didn't. I've never heard of that one, but I want to go there. Yeah, Mega Con, Oda Con, Emerald City Con, San Diego Comic Con, all of it. Uh, favorite thing about course? Let's go. Keep everything in. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just comfortable with Push them. everything up. Boobies. I live in them. I like them. I'm like, I'm like, a, I like my clothing tight, and I like it to, like, not break when I wear it. Yeah. yeah. Durability yeah. is my They're favorite very durable. thing. It's durability. That's, it. That's gotta be it. When I'm on stage, and I do, you know, because you, anything stage work, theater, whatever, you're even working these, you're very abusive of your clothing. Yeah. Like, you put something on like this and be moving equipment and everything and not tear it. You're good to go. That's wonderful. We should just start wearing full suits of armor. I'm going to start or wearing corsets. Or a corset. I should wear a corset. <laughs> I guess you have to be a fan of some of these games if you're selling items like this. Are you a gamer yourself? Uh, used to be. Used to be. Used to be. What, was your, what was your favorite game growing up? Uh, game? Probably Miss Pac-Man. Miss yeah. Pac-Man is a good choice. Classic. Yeah. Oh, Ethan, grab me one and then make me smell it. <laughs> oh, 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 thank you, young lady. Oh. <laughs> Here, you get a free sticker. Oh, that is really good. I wrote for it, so it's a nice cartoony fruit, a little bit of pottery in there. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, my hair is smelling good. You are into this kind of business. You must be a geek of some sort. Absolutely. What do you geek out on the most? You a Doctor Who guy? I'm just getting into Doctor Who. I used to be a Marvel zombie hardcore. I'm kind of out of the loop right now. It's been a little while. But I'm into everything. I love fantasy. I love science fiction. We don't make a soap unless we are a fan of the geek. Awesome. So, like, we only have two Doctor Who's right now because we're just getting into Doctor Who. I need to do what I represent and enjoy. We make key hooks. Can't piss on hospitality. I love crappy horror movies. So we have to do a Troll 2 one. Oh, It's not too often you see a moving company in a con. Right. And that's fit right in. That's that's actually what our, we're sort of trying, our, our marketing scheme is. Why is Steel City Mover, why is a moving company at a toy convention? So, and the reason is, we're nerds. We, I think we're the only, the only moving company in the solar system, perhaps the galaxy, with their own action figures and supervillain. Yeah. I think you might be right. Yeah, that's... So, uh, if you're a nerd, as are we, uh, what's your biggest thing you nerd out on? Are you a gamer? Oh, movies? man. Well, probably superheroes, superhero genre, big bat fan. Oh, there you go. Uh, recently, I got into Saga by Brian K. Vaughn, the guy who wrote Why the Last Man. If you're into 
graphic novels saga as it was pitched to me by my friend. It's if you like Star Wars, it's Star Wars with sex and violence. And I was like, oh, hey, holy crap! Two of those things are my favorite. Yeah. So I, I told us we have to get close. All right. So so yeah. I picked up Saga, and it's awesome. It's really good. So I get to put his helmet on. I gotta put these lower. Wow. <laughs> Thank you guys. Oh, that was fun. Nice meeting you. I look forward to seeing you guys again. Oh, thank you.